Hello everybody, I am Chantelle and welcome to the back nine of the Dwayne B. Memorial Disc Golf Course. Just a recap of the front nine, I am sitting at a negative three and it is still windy and rainy. Hole 10 is a par 3, 262 feet. You can take whatever line you want to the basket. I am going to be taking my more stable wraith and throwing to the right of it and just having it fade toward the basket. But I didn't commit to it and I threw it too straight down the middle and I fade out left. So now I have this putt looking up at the basket. And that wasn't a very good putt, but at least it didn't roll too far away. So just hoping to clean this up for my par. And I do. Hole 11 is a par three, 238 feet. This is an easy up the middle shot with a mid range. I am throwing my Mako 3 in Champion Plastic just for the extra stability and I just yank it right again so I hit that tree but I'm still up there for a putt. And slowly it starts raining more and more so just trying to kind of hurry it up and get out of there. And I thought that looked really good. I don't know if I just threw it too low or if the wind uh, pushed it down, but easy cleanup for par. Hole 12 is a par three, 180 feet. This is an uphill hole, so it plays a little longer than 180 feet. So I'm gonna be throwing my more understable Mako 3, just trying to get a good height to get up to the basket. I'm really happy with how close that is to the basket because you do not want a long putt on this hole. If you hit the cage and it rolls all the way down the hill, that is not fun. <laughs> so I'm happy that it was parked. Hole 13 is a par 3, 280 feet. This is a downhill hole and it's also an island. So I'm throwing my Mako 3 again, and I yanked it a little bit right, but I knew it would fade at the end, so I have a nice short putt for my birdie. Trying to wipe my disc off and get it dry. I learned my lesson from previous. <laughs> Hole 14 is a par 3, 255 feet. This is a turnover shot or a... <laughs> you can hear that goose, it sounds like a dinosaur. <laughs> I'm just throwing my Mako 3 on an Anheuser, and there is a little sneaky gap through those trees right there, but I hit it. I hit the tree, so now I'm on the outside, um, and I have a obstructed look at the basket. So I'm just going to be taking my zone and trying to flick something up there, get it close enough to the basket for a par putt. That was a little wider than I wanted, so now I'm on that down slope looking upwards and I have to straddle out, so this is a fun putt. But it goes in. <laughs>
pull 15 is a par 3, 210 feet. This is a sidearm pull or another turnover shot. I am going to be throwing my judge and just trying to get nice and close. And that is good enough for me. Nice and close. Oof. I was not happy with that, but <laughs> as you can see, I was really sad. I was all excited to get another birdie. Hole 16 is a par 3, 220 feet. This is another sidearm hole or turnover shot. I'm still trying to figure this one out. I get it sometimes, but it's pretty tricky. So I'm throwing my sting on a turnover line. And I just don't get enough on it. The tee pads were a little bit slippery, so I think I was just not committing to my shots. And now I'm left with this. I am in the tree. There is a whole bunch of trees in front of me. So I'm just try <laughs> trying to get out and try and get as close to the basket as I can. Ugh. And I hit everything. <laughs> and now I have this putt. And that will do. <laughs> I'll be getting a bogey, but it's not too bad from out of that bush. Hole 17 is a par 3, 210 feet. This is another sidearm or a turnover. You could do a turnover, but it's more a sidearm, I, I would think. So I'm throwing my undertaker and just trying to put it straight up the gap. And I thought it looked okay, but I, it was just a little two nose down and it hits the, the ground and doesn't get any fade, so just looking to put this close to the basket again. Yeah, that wasn't a very good approach, but hopefully we can slam this putt. To save my par, I was happy with that putt. Anything that's in the rain or the wind, if I'm sinking something more than 15 feet, I'm really happy. Hole 18 is a par 3, 250 feet. This hole is tricky too. I still don't really know what to do on it. So I'm going to be flicking my undertaker again. Just trying to get through those trees. <laughs> and I turned my wrist too much and it was nose down. But at least I got a couple skips. So now I should have a relatively easy approach to the basket. I'm actually trying to run this because it's the last hole and why not? It wasn't too bad of a run, but luckily there was a tree behind it to stop it from rolling further. <laughs> and finishing off with a par. Happy to be done because it is raining more and more. <laughs> So thank you guys for joining me again. I finished off with a negative four. We had a lot of fun even though it was really wet and rainy. <laughs> so thank you guys and I will see you on the next one.